what's going on guys it's Tom I'm back with another video and in this video I wanted to give you our budget our monthly budget in real numbers for the month of July and I'll give you a little precursor here you know uh, okay so we're in um, like northern Kazan City okay and uh, we're in a condo uh, development, you know, condo subdivision. And it's not that, it's not a brand new condo. You know, it's, I think it was built probably at least 20 years ago. But it's not real old, you know, it's, you know what I mean? It's about 20 years old, I think. 15, 20 years old. And we have, and, and this is interesting, right? Like, I know you guys are probably thinking, oh, you know, you're living the Western lifestyle. Well, yeah, I, I, I think it is probably the Western lifestyle. But this might surprise you, but there's not a lot of foreigners that live here in this complex, you know? There is really, I don't even know if it's like 5% maybe or, you know, 1%. I mean, it's low, you know? Because I know most of them, or I've seen, either seen them or know them, you know. And there's really, if you consider all the apartments that are here, you know, and then how many foreigners are here, it's very low. <laughs> it's, like, it's probably literally like 1%, you know, or something. Uh, so actually, there's, there's, you know, and it's not like a ritzy place. I mean, you know, it's not like, oh, yeah, there's rich people that live here. Yeah, there's probably a few Filipinos here that, are definitely sort of, you know, middle income or upper middle income, you know, uh, you know what I mean? Even by our standards, you know, by like U.S. standards. But, you know, I think most of them, sometimes you just find like there's several people living in an apartment, you know what I mean? There's more than maybe, I mean, we have four people in my family, but there's, it's a three bedroom, two bath apartment or condo. It's about 80 square meters, or I, I think that would equate to about 800 square feet, which is about the size of my, the apartment I was living in back in the Chicago area in the suburb. Uh, and that was only a two bedroom, one bath. You know what I mean? That was sort of, you know, it was okay for me. And it was probably, it would be okay for a couple, right? Like in the U.S. where I was, where I used to live, you know? But, yeah, here it's like that same square footage and, you know, you're looking at, yeah, it's three bed, two bath, you know. The, the, this, our master bedroom has a master bath and then there's another bathroom in the hallway, you know. So, and I'll tell you about the amenities too, just so you know. And we live in the same building where, like, downstairs is where the water, you get the drinking water. You get, there's a pool table room, there's the management office, there's the store, you know, there's like a little store, a little convenience store, and it's pretty good size. It ain't like some little sorry, sorry store, you know, it's, it's like a 7-Eleven almost, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's like size wise, you know, almost, you know, um, there's a swimming pool, not too far, a couple buildings away. Um, there's also like a they have a badminton thing, you know, and on the lower level of the clubhouse area by the pool. Uh, there's a little seating area there. There's ATMs there. There's a pay machine where you could pay your electric bill or your cable TV, in our case, or cable internet, cable slash internet. You know, you could just cash, you know, you could pay your bill and then there's no charge, there's no fee. Um, if you do it at like 7-Eleven, they usually charge you, you know, uh, extra, you know. And if you go to SM Grocery Store, you're going to stand in line for a while, you know, if you have to pay your bill there, you know. Like, I don't think there's an extra fee, I don't think, but they, you're going to be in line for 20 minutes or a half hour. <laughs> um, also, there's a basketball court, you know, outside, uh, which is right, you know, next to our building, basically. Um, and of course it has a covered parking in case you had a car, you know, a garage, there is covered parking, uh, in every building. Um, so there's basically five floors and then there's a laundry on the roof. Everyone has a laundry stall. Okay. And a sto slash storage area. 
we don't really have the the owners using the storage part of it you know what i mean so but we get to use the laundry of course um elevator buildings uh there's also a basement level where the mailboxes are at and you know there's parking down there and stuff like that too and then that's where the maintenance guys offices are you know so there's a lot of stuff that's here the only drawback about living in this building is it's the farthest away from the gate so you know when you walk to the store or the mall you know it's it's a decent little walk because you it takes you five minutes almost to get to the gate, you know. <laughs> and then from there, you know what I mean, then you go to the mall or wherever you're going to go, you know, grocery store or whatever. Um, but anyway, so it, it's definitely, uh, I like it here. You know, I mean, it's got good amenities and uh, it's reasonable, reasonably priced. You can have pets here. You know, we have a dog and a cat. Um, yeah. So anyway, I just wanted to give you that sort of, precursors so you know how we're living and stuff you know so let me go through it now guys here it is my friend the budget of a lifetime the real budget all right so our rent okay and we this is the third year now we've been here two years and then we signed a lease for the third year so we're, you know we're going to be here for at least another you know almost another year uh and our rent has not increased since we came in here, you know, like whatever, over two years ago. It's 35,000 pesos a month rent. And that's about $603. That's, you know, with the today's uh, exchange rate. Our electric bill was 6,600 pesos or about $114. Now that's, it's not always like that. There were several months when we first moved in here or, you know, for, I don't know, for, for a large part of the first year where it was like, it was like between 3,500 and 4,000. Um, I think we just use a little more air now. Like we use air at night now that the split air in the living room for like three, three or four hours, you know, at night. Whereas maybe initially we didn't really do that too much. We just had a fan. And then of course at night overnight, and it's just us, you know, the girls don't use their, air, their, one of them has air con in their room, but they don't use it. But we use it at night. You know, we set it at like 25 degrees centigrade. We, we don't set it too cold, you know what I mean? But, you know, uh, but we do have it at night while we're sleeping, you know. So it runs all night, you know, seven hours, eight hours, whatever, you know. Um, anyway, so, but that 6,600, that's what it's been recently, you know, for the last three months or so. I think the highest it ever was was like 7,100 pesos. That was the highest. Probably the lowest was about 3,500, you know, just so you know. Um, and then we also pay, like, there's a water bill, like a monthly water bill, but it also includes common area electric uh, and water. Like, in other words, for the, la the laundry stall area, you know, all the water from the whenever you do laundry and the electric, because we do have a washing machine. We didn't supply it. It was already there. Oh, just so you know, the apartment is pretty much fully furnished, right? Beds, you know, good, decent beds in every bedroom, closets, kitchen table, couch, a nice L-shaped couch, you know, now that we have, and the, the owner covered that, you know, reimbursed it. Um, yeah, you know what I mean? It's like, it's fully furnished, you know, coffee table. I mean, everything, you know. So that's important. <laughs> you know, I could talk about that maybe later or another video, but, you know, that's pretty important. So you don't have to go buy all that stuff. And then ultimately move that stuff. You know, if you're going to move out of an apartment, then you, and it's your furniture, and you, obviously you got to move it. And it's more of a pain in the neck, you know. So anyway, that water bill is about 1,300 pesos on average a month or $22. Um, and then the drinking water, okay, is free. In other words, we get up to 12 five-gallon bottles a month. It used to be 16, but now it's 12. Uh, and we never exceed that. You know what I mean? We never exceed 12 bottles. I mean, there's four of us here, but, you know. 
So that's, like I said, free. They give you a ticket, you know, and then you give them the ticket. They mark it off when they, when they fill your bottle, you know, just so they know how many you're getting for the month. And every month you get a ticket, you know, you get another, like a blank ticket, you know, every month and you start over. So that's pretty cool. Uh, our cable, we have cable and internet from Sky, okay? So, and the cable TV is HBO. There's two tap channels, a tap and a tap action. There's like history channel. There's discovery channel. You know, there's some of the American cable channels we have on here, you know. Um, and the internet, which is pretty good. You know, although lately it's been kind of on and off. I don't know what they're doing, you know. It's fiber, but, you know, I, I don't know if they're still doing upgrades or what. But, like, in the last week, it's just been up and down, you know, like, on and off, you know. Uh, but anyway, the, the bill, which has been the same ever since we've been here, is about twenty is 2,500 pesos a month or $43. So that's cable TV and Internet. And the Internet's pretty fast. You know, it's like 80 MPS or whatever or 100. You know, I think it's 80, actually. Um uh, let's see. Now we also pay for cooking gas and it's not like in the U S where it's hard lined into your apartment or whatever. It, you buy these LG bottles. Okay. They're like propane bottle tanks type thing. And we, it's under the sink and it's hooked up to the, to the stove. And we have an oven and a stove, but the oven doesn't work. It's never worked. You know, the oven part of it. I think it needs an extra, a separate bottle or something. I'm, I'm not sure, but, but we only use the stove. Uh, and we, one bottle lasts us about three months. I think it's about a 14 kilogram bottle or something like that, or 12 kilogram, 14, I don't know, something. And that is about, it's about a thousand pesos every three months. So I just put, you know, 340 pesos a month or $6, okay? That's cooking gas. Now our food and sundries. Now this is this isn't just grocery, you know, food, right? This is also anything else, detergent, paper towels, you know, everything else that we need, right? You know, every month. So that cost, and this includes, you know, cat food and dog food, um, and that is about thirty-five thousand pesos a month. Okay, or six hundred and three dollars. Kind of the same as a rent, you know. Um, and that includes like we mostly get a lot of the big stuff. About every three weeks, we go to S and R or Landers, and we really stock up on meats and all that. Okay, we get because we they got better meat there than even than they do at the grocery store, and certainly what they do at the market. <laughs> Uh, and, and they got fruits there too and everything else, you know, I mean, it's, it's a, there's a lot of stuff there and S and R has got better meat by the way than Landers in our opinion, you know? Um, so anyway, that, so that includes all that. And that also includes, you know, like once or twice a week going to pure gold, just to refresh what we're out of, you know, small stuff, you know what I mean? Go there at least once a week maybe five times a month, you know, that includes that as well. And because the, the SNR usually is around $400, you know, every three weeks, sometimes less, it's like 350 to $400 in that ballpark, you know, and that's a, a lot of stuff, man. You know, like we get buy a lot of stuff there, you know, uh, and then there's like, okay, so right now, uh, Amy cooks about four times a week, you know. It used to be five times, and then I told her, just do four times because, you know, she's very busy here. You know, she's doing laundry, and, you know, she works hard, you know. So I'm like, just just cook four times a week, and then we'll do, like, restaurants three times a week, you know, or delivery. We, we usually do delivery, you know, Food Panda uh, is what they have. They also have Grab food delivery, but... We don't really use that for food delivery. We use it for ride share, but not food delivery. Uh, anyway, so the restaurants and or food delivery about every month on average is about 14,400 pesos or $248. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. Now then now there's some other stuff here that I do that you know maybe you might not do, but you know, I'm just telling you what our budget is, right? Um, now, we also pay for streaming, certain streaming apps, right, you know, to watch on, on our TV. And that total is like $28. I just put it in dollars because I pay in dollars, you know. Yeah, the and the streaming apps that I pay for is like Netflix, Amazon, and I've got a really good deal on Hulu and Peacock. I believe that's... The only ones I pay for. Uh, yeah. But they're, ch it's, you know, but one of them, Netflix is going to go down because I'm, it's going to go down to the ad program. They're going to, they're not going to have any middle program anymore. Netflix is just going to be like, I think it's $14.99 or $15.99 a month or $6.99 a month. That's it. The $6.99 is going to be for the ad, the ones with ads. The Netflix program with ads, okay? There's not going to be any 10, 11, 12 bucks or whatever a month, you know, like there is now. So that's going to go down. And then we'll see what happens maybe on, on Black Friday this year. There could be some additional savings on some other apps or whatever. Because that's what happened last year. I got a really good deal on Hulu and Peacock. So, but anyway, it's, uh, yeah, it's, like I said, it was 28 bucks a month. Now I, I pay for a VPN, okay, uh, which is about I think it's about ten bucks a month. You know I think I got a deal initially the first year it was like eight bucks a month or something like that. But you know it's I think it's like ten bucks, ten dollars a month uh, now. I also have a a, a a mailing address you know in the U.S. and uh, that is uh, like I think it's eight bucks a month. Eight dollars a month, and now as far as visas go, I have an SRRV, so it's very cheap. You know, I mean, it's like ten dollars a year. That's all I pay to renew the card, basically. So it's not even a dollar a month, and I just did it recently for two years. You know, so I don't have to go there for almost another, you know, almost another two years. Um, so that's cool. Now, if you have a, if you're here and you're on a tourist visa, you know, you're going to be paying about $400 a year, or let's say maybe f at least, four, I'd say $40 a month on average, okay? Maybe 50, depending on, you know, transportation to get to the Bureau of Immigration every time you extend, you know, I don't know how close you're going to be to the, the BOI office, but, uh, you know, you got to factor that in too. Um the uh yeah and then if you're on these i mean there's other visas that are a lot cheaper like obviously if you're on a marriage visa or an srv uh if you're on a regular srv and not a military courtesy like i got then you're talking it's about 360 bucks a year okay so about 30 bucks a month okay for that so it's just a little bit less than like a tourist visa you know uh Let's see. Now, transportation, you know, for us, we don't really go a lot of places. You know, I mean, we go to the SNR and stuff like that. But I mean, you know, or occasionally we go, we have to go somewhere else. But I mean, on average, that's only about a thousand pesos a month. There's also buses and trains and stuff that you can take, you know, to go downtown Manila or whatever from where we're at. Um, you know, so, and those are quite, Quite a, they're fairly cheap, you know. So anyway, that's like seventeen dollars, the equivalent of about seventeen dollars. Now I still have my U.S. phone number in the U.S. or you know, my I still have my cell plan, my cell provider in the U.S. It's only thirty bucks a month. Sometimes it's a little bit less, sometimes it's a little bit more, depending on if I actually make phone calls with it or not. I usually don't. Um, usually it's just texting and and stuff like that, you know which is included, you know, for free, even internationally. Um, so that's, like I said, that's only uh, about 30 bucks a month on average. Uh, and then the, like, phone load, you know, for the girls, um, for their phones, it, it's about maybe 2,000 pesos a month or $35. That's, like, pretty much all three of them, you know. 
And then the school for Ange is about, I think, monthly. Uh, this might not be deadly accurate, but, you know, monthly basis. It's only about maybe $17 a month for 1,000 pesos, you know. Uh, and then we also cover uh, uh, Ate's internet, you know, uh, Amy's sister back in the in the province. We pay for her internet because she has a daughter who goes to school and stuff like that. So we're we're paying for her internet. That's we just give her about two thousand pesos. It's about thirty five dollars. It's a little bit less than that, but we give her a little bit extra. You know, I think it's more like seventeen hundred a month or something that she pays, or you know, fifteen hundred to seventeen hundred something like that a month. We just give her two thousand. Um, and then. Now there's miscellaneous of about I just put miscellaneous about seven thousand pesos a month or one hundred twenty dollars a month, but you know what mostly what miscellaneous is is like um, you know we 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 help out Amy's family you know back in the not they don't live in this area they live in a provincial area you know outside of uh, another island on another island where Amy grew up and you know, I don't have to do that, but I mean, I do it. You know what I mean? Like I've been there, I've met them. I, you know, we've seen them, I've seen them three or four times at least, you know, that we spent time over there and stuff, visiting them. And, uh, and Amy talks to them almost every day, you know, video chat and stuff. But yeah, I, and it wasn't the whole time that I was here, but like, I don't know, in the last year or so, you know, been helping them out so you know and you you might wind up doing that you know what i mean if you're going to be with the filipina here you know i mean it's not something that you're not you don't have to do it but i mean you know you i don't know you're probably going to want to do it you know that's not a ton of money you know but it's good for it for them it is you know so just keep that in mind you know um anyway so that that's pretty much it okay for the whole monthly budget and the grand total of our monthly budget for July of 2024 is, <laughs> is about $1,940 or about 113,000 pesos. Okay. That's what our budget is. And that's not including, you know, obviously travel or necessarily like any kind of medical situation that might come up or you know going to the doctor or medication or something like that although well the medication might be included <coughs> in our in that budget because it's not that much i take losartan every month you know uh it's literally like um seven dollars a month it's like 340 pesos a month okay not even seven dollars probably closer to six dollars but anyway, yeah, so, but that's what, that's what our budget is, guys. It's our real budget. Now, obviously, when you, if you're going to put aside money for traveling and medical, you know, you're going to want at least another, you know, two to $300 a month coming in beyond that, beyond this number, at least if you're like us, you know, um, just to be able to kind of put aside, you know, for any kind of medical or, or travel, you know. Um, stuff like that. So, so for us, you know, that, like, like I say, that 2000 a month is very realistic for us. I mean, that's our, our actual budget, you know, now we've got four people. Okay. It's not just me and Amy. So, you know, but anyway, guys, that's about it, man. I hope you liked it. I hope you, uh, comment. If you got any questions for me, uh, please hit the like button if you like it. Uh, Hit the subscribe button if you're not already doing so. If you're not already a subscriber, I really do appreciate it. And uh, that's it, guys. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great weekend.